Hello and welcome back to MAFT UK. Uh, as promised, I said I would do a fishing video next time round, and here we are. We're back at Bluebells. Uh, we are fishing San Martin. Now, Magic Dave has been with me for the last couple of days. I've also got a buddy who shall be known as he with no name. Um, Dave caught a 17 pound common. He who should not be named has caught a 17 pound common. I have caught nothing, <laughs> despite my efforts. However, that's just the way it goes, as we know. Um, got 24 hours If left. you read any book, read any magazine, to be on the end of the wind is uh, where you want to be. Uh, the carp follow the, uh, the wind in, and they go into wherever the wind is collecting, say. In this case, I'm in a perfect spot. I'm in the bottom um, corner of San Martin, and the wind is going into it and I've not seen a single fish show no signs of fish in here whatsoever although they are coming along this bank there's no signs of them, they're not giving anything away but immediately over the other side of the bank there in Mallard on our first night the wind was blowing into the corner, into the, into the point and it was full, just full to the brim of carp but we stuck it out here uh, because we said we were going to try this lake but no, they've, they've, we've not brought them in, it hasn't brought them in the carp clearly aren't reading the same books that we're reading, so... <laughs> what can you do? Um, how am I fishing? I've got my fish spy on again. Margin fishing, apparently, in San Martin. Kingfish has been spawning. Um, swans, I think, already spawned. Uh, I think this one has already spawned, but uh, I may go again. I don't know. I don't know the waters well enough to comment about that. Um, but there you are. That's where we are at this moment in time. Um, I'll take you around and have a look at the kit in a minute, what I've got going on. Um, I can't show you he who should not be named because he, he's a bit camera shy, doesn't want to appear on any of the videos, that's fine. But more importantly, I would like to say hello to all the people that have spent the time, come over and had a chat with me since I've been here. Um, one or two of you have, have recognised me and said, oh, I've, I've seen your blogs. I really like that. And you came over and you had a chat with me and um, we talked about a bit of this and a bit of that and I appreciate it. Um, so if you do see me out and about, by all means, come and have a chat. I, I won't be rude to you. I'll, I'll never palm you off. If you want to chat, we'll chat. Okay. So one other thing, I've got my uh, new reels on. I suppose I may be cursed with the new kit. I've also got a brand new spod rod, which is the Grays Extreme. I've also got the um, my new Shimano spotting reel. Um, I am getting used to my new reels. It, it isn't easy. Um, I'm used to bait runners, Shimano bait runners, and I spent oh, so far all my time with bait runners, and now I've I've got to do things differently. And, and I know it's not a major thing, but I've got to go and bait up again now. So uh, I've got to get my waders on. The ducks have had my bait, my shallow in bait, my close in bait. They've had it, had it away, little gits. So I'm going to uh, redo that one again. All right, catch up with you in a bit. Despite the margin fishing, I still brought the bait, though I didn't really fully appreciate how this lake works. We shall have a quick pan round at San Martin Lake, just so you can see what we've got going on. It's approximately 180 metres to the other side, I think. Um, and I've had a chat with Peter, who is currently divvied up over here. Um, we've decided to split the bay between us, down here, so I've got one bait about here, one bait about there, and my I've just changed tactics slightly, and I've put another bait, where's that high treat, there we are, about there somewhere, so that's, that's where I've got my baits at at the moment in time. Every few seconds another car comes by. A lot of people don't like this lake because it's quite featureless in, in the water, it's all margin fishing. Perhaps in the winter, you go deep um, in the middle, but at this moment in time, it appears that all tactics and all comments and all fishermen fish the margins. And my setup over there, with my bait boat. He who should not be named is currently snurgled in there. 
We at this moment in time, we are the only two along this section. And I guarantee you, by this afternoon, that will change. That's just the way it is, I'm afraid. So let's go through our carping checklist, shall we? Let's let's see what we've done wrong, if we've done anything wrong at all. Now, I'm, I'm sure there'll be many people who may disagree with what I'm saying, but, you know, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat. Right. We were going to fish San Martin. That was the plan. Right, we weren't going to fish Mallard, Swan, Kingfisher, Bluebell. Nope. San Martin. I did as much research as I possibly could. Couldn't find a lot. There was one website that told me all about the features within the lake. Well, I'm telling you now, I couldn't find any features out there. There's certainly no bank. Uh, my fish finder uh, couldn't find anything. Um, marker floats couldn't find anything. So we couldn't find any features that were drawn on this this map that was that was out there in the um, World Wide Web. I couldn't find those features at all. I'm not saying they weren't there, but there's three of us all on a line searching for the features and they weren't there. So anyway, we're going to fish San Martin. We know where the wind's going to turn. We know which way the wind direction's going to go. So um, we sat it out for 24 hours and we sat on these pegs knowing that it would come into this wind and come into this area and into that bay. Check. So fish where the fish are potentially are or are going to be. He who should not be named is right behind me, right behind you. He's there, right there. Trying to make me uh, stutter or do something. He's been mean. Um, yeah, and same to you too. It's, it, oh, I might just turn that camera around. Don't do that. <laughs> so we've checked one. So um, fish where the fish are, or if you can't find any sign signals where they are likely to be, done. Okay. Go and research, go and speak to people, go and ask what's going on. At our arrival, the only lake that was actually producing fish at that time was San Martin. Mallard hadn't produced anything for a few days. Kingfisher had just gone over to spawning. Bluebells had already spawned. Swan had already spawned, not bluebells. So, again, we were giving ourselves the best edge. Fortunately, we were fishing the lake that was, was producing the fish. Um, so that's check two. That's that, that's that done. Three, bait. Uh, what people using, what were they catching on, ask around, um, didn't really get a lot of info from that but bottom baits were seem to be picking up so we all got a bottom bait on each, some of us pop up, some of us bottom baits, I put a zig on as I always like to do two days later, two fish, can't do anything about that, change tactics a little bit today and that's where we are, so we're on our final day, final 24 hours let's see what we can do, let's see if we can actually get something out of this water, especially me, because I'm still on a blank. I'm the only one, so uh, fingers crossed, eh? Everything's in my favour, still. Wind, sun, ripple on the water, all coming towards me, right into my face, into the bay that I'm fishing. Still nothing, no knocks, no nothing at all. Completely dead across the entire lake. I've just noticed in front of me, um, probably about six metres out, there is a potential little ridge that's running from my left to right and uh, there's a clear spot between the weed. It is a potential carp run. I don't know. Is it? Isn't it? I, I don't know this lake well enough. Everybody tells me I'm supposed to fish the margins. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the fish spy out. I'm going to have a look at it. I'm going to have a look at see what's going on. I want to have a check out the bed, see if it, it is clear. And if it is, I may just put a bait on that, just for tonight, just to see what's going on. This is proving to be very, very difficult. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a difficult lake. Uh, they all are. I, I don't mind, as I said previously, I don't, I don't mind um, difficulty. I don't, it's, it's, it's the rewards that are more important. I don't mind. Now, I, I do recognise uh, some of the spots that... Um, I watched the Carp King 71 and he's fished from over Party Point, well, I call it Party Point, over to this corner here. And I think he's made baited up for him whilst he, whilst he cast it over to there and I'm in the same spot there at this moment in time because the wind's blown into it and, and it's you know why wouldn't you be 
just will somebody please tell the carp to read the same books as we read or watch the same programs because uh, I'm, I feel like I'm doing everything right but nothing's happening well I'm not the only one there must be 10 anglers fishing this one lake as an, another couple of lads turned up opposite um, they're lobbing out about 40 meters in front of them he did he did everything he needed to do he feature found he got his lead weight on and I had a look around what's going on so he's probably they're probably the only two not actually fishing the, the margins it was quite funny actually I I really put a risky bait out two risky baits one right in up against the weeds which was only in about three foot of water and the same along underneath this willow tree as recommended by a another and uh, but the the swan the, <laughs> the duck they just took it out completely it was bloody annoying just completely wiped me out so I gotta go deeper just to get away from them because they they know where the food is they can see the food it's so crystal clear the water that it just completely took took everything from me so I was getting my bait picked up and dropped and picked Ooh, ah. so anyway never mind let's get the fish spy out let's try and find this little clear spot that I think I can see and let's see if I can get a bait on it let's go I did just have a knock on my left hand rod so I'm um, just for those of you who've never actually seen a fish by up close um, that's it without its fin on basically a fish by is a marker float so you have the same configuration set up as you would a marker float. I've just been interrupted. He who with no name, that's all you're ever going to see of him. Um, and what I'm going to do now is turn it on via those. I'm going to put the cap on it. If you can find it. Now I'm being distracted. Hello! Lock it in. He's just telling me. Right, I'm right, okay, right. I'm going to interrupt this recording. Look at this, look, show me a glass again. Right, see, he who has no name has an empty glass. Now let me just hold that frame just for a second while I go get mine. Gin and tonic, greedy ass, normal human being. Anyway, um, he's off to get another refill. So. <laughs> It's, a, it's the same as a marker float. It's heavier than a marker float. You need a five ounce lead to get it on the bottom. And you also need a minimum of a 50 pound braid to lob it out. Even with my new marker rod, no, no. Even with my new spod rod and spod reel. Shimano 1000 spod, 10,000 spod. Shimano 10,000 spod, even with that. I can still I can get it out a much much greater distance, but uh, I'm not going to get it out the full whack. You know, you're not going to be able to get this 100 meters, I don't think. So with the camera on, I'm just going to go now and see if I can see, look identify this channel just in front of me. I've turned everything on. I've cast out to where I want to be, or where I think the, the little channel is. It's only 12 foot out, but there is a uh, distinct line I, can, I think I can see. Press the record button, I now wind the float down to the bottom, as if you were to mark a float to check the distance. I know I'm 8 foot of water there, and all I do now is let the float back up, which I've done, and now I stop the recording, which I've just done then. And I'm now going to look at that recording. It tells me that's recording number 11. I'm going to press playback. Let's see what we've got. I'm hoping to see a clear spot. If I do see a clear spot, I'm going to drop a bait on it because I think this is where all the locals say that they cruise around the margins 
and um, I'm just looking at this bit here doesn't look promising at the moment I'm swear I can see weed yeah I'm straight into weed this is not a good spot no that's not where I'm gonna be fishing so I need to go a little bit further out than that not a good place at all this is where things like the fish spy come in you, you can it's, it is thin weed it's not heavy thick I mean it looks like this it's not heavy heavy weed but it is weed and despite all the efforts of trying to fish through it you can't fish through it and there you go so that's quite interesting isn't it so we know that that little band of clear that looks like clear to me isn't actually clear at all it, it is weed so I'm gonna go another meter out I'm gonna cast again I can probably do that sat on my butt right here now so let's give that a go make sure we know tangles and let's give it another little wing out okay that's probably double the distance now there we go floats up <clears throat> let's get the signal coming over you've got to get the float standing in the upright position otherwise you won't get a signal from it so there we are just like any other mark float in the water just a few meters out probably 10 15 meters at most Again, I'm going to check my uh, camera, make sure it's recording. Yes, it is. I can see that's recording. I hope you can too on there. There we go. And now I'm going to wind that down again uh, to see what I've got underneath. Now, again, as soon as I drop below the water, the signal will stop sending. So I, I won't be able to see anything on my phone until I come back up again. But let's get down. Let's, let's find out. Let's get down there. Come on. There we go. I'm on the bottom. So just as before, we make sure that we've got a signal. Yeah, we've got a signal. <laughs> There's our signal. Press the record button, because that's quite important. I want to see exactly what it's got going on. And we're going to wind it down again. Okay, I'm now on the bottom. I know the camera's recording and I'm filming now what, what's exactly there. And like before, loosen off my clutch and I'm gonna now slowly, one foot, raise it up, hold it. Because I want to see what's going on. I want to see what I've got there. Hold it for a few seconds. And away we go, two foot. Hold it. Three foot. Hold it. Hold it steady. Hold your rod steady. Okay, after three foot, well, let's just go and let's get it to the surface and see how deep we've got. Four. Fourteen. Fifteen. And I can just see it coming up now. Fifteen. Sixteen feet. 15 meters out, 16 foot of water. There you are, that's what we've got. That's been filmed all the way. So all I do now is press the stop record. And that should be recording number 12. Bang, there we are, clear as a bell. Okay, I know now that that's clear up there. How are you doing? I know that's clear up there now. 
So all I'm going to do now is just bring that back a meter. I'm just going to simply drag it back a meter and see if I can actually find the edge of the weeds. If I can find the edge of the weeds, that's where I want to put my bait, the other side of the weed. So let's do that. So let's press the record button while I'm on the surface. Okay, this will be recording number 13. And all I'm going to, oh, lucky for some, all I'm going to do now is wind it down to the bottom without forgetting my clutch, of course, because I'm new to these reels. Let's get matey on the bottom. Okay. I'm going to drag it back a meter. Here we go. Now I'm on the bottom, bottom again. And now what I'm going to do is release it all and bring the float to the top. Yeah, it's moving forward. Release the clutch. Two. And there we are. Place the rod down so that the float is in the upright position. So it's transmitting best possible signal. Stop record. Let's have a look. So we know now where that float is right now is still clear. And it literally is now 14 meters out most. How you do this is entirely up to you. There is no right and no wrong way of doing it. The aim is to get the footage. That's what you're trying to look at. You want to see what's on the bottom. And this is a very good way of doing it. And here comes my float. Now then, that's looking to me like I may have picked up a bit of weed there. There we are. So, have I now pulled that little bit closer into the weed? Let's see. Let's get this thing in. Oh, in the weeds. Well, you need, there you go, picked up a nice little bunch of weed there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's get rid of that shite. Let's get rid of that rubbish. Make sure that the lens is clear. So we've got nothing on there. Off you go. Let's have a little cast out. I'm still recording, the camera's still recording. But it doesn't matter, I can edit it all. But I am running out of juice on the camera, the camera does need a recharge, hence the power pack. Just gonna tease it in a bit. There. Now let's have a look at what we've got. Slowly but surely let it up. Hold. Hold. And let it go. And there we are. I think that there is the edge of the weed. Let's see if I've got that right, shall we? Yeah, as I go, as the camera goes up now, this is what it looks like. I'm right on the edge of the weed bed. That's exactly where I need to be. Another. 400 millimeters just beyond that float so I'm gonna keep that float exactly where it is right now and I'm gonna put some bait on that and I'm gonna drop something on that I'd be mad not to that's a perfect spot okay 
I'm really pleased with that now. And that's what this thing's good for. This, I can, I know exactly what's underneath that float. Brilliant. Will it catch me any fish? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I've turned it off now. I'm not moving that float. I'm keeping that there. I'm going to bait up in around that float now. Why wouldn't I? I do have my waders, but it's so nice. Of course, even with a red head like mine, um, we still got to eat. And tonight we're having uh, a barbecue. Uh, I'm going to do some kebabs, some mushrooms, chopped onions, chicken, marinade sauce, and some peppers. And that looks a little bit like this. He who should not be named said these were Mafti UK Babs. Oh yeah. Well they're looking good so far aren't they? So then uh, he with no name, what do you think to the kebabs? Yeah, that answered that. We're just going to uh, have a look at he with no name, his gear, um, stainless steel pod. He's looking at some tournament, go on, what are they called, reels? Daiwa Bezier QDX. Daiwa Bezier QDX. There you go, with some camo line. And moving on to his, um, well, I mean, with no introduction whatsoever, really. We all know what a Delcom looks like. What are your rods? Infinity? They were Infinity, the uh, 3.25 test curve. 3.25 test curve. So we're looking at some, uh, some pucker gear here, aren't we? Yeah, very nice. We haven't caught anything by morning. I think I'll be a bit disappointed because this is absolutely perfect. It's overcast, there's ripple on the water, it's not cold. They haven't fed for three days that we know of. Pushing in this way nice and slowly. I don't see how it would get much big, better big than this. Fish, big fish you've got to eat. Mm. End of story. And they've not really been taking anything, have they, the last few days? Nothing. He who has no name and myself have pretty much done all we can do today. The wind's dropped off. We know it's going to get hotter tomorrow. We know it's going to get hotter Sunday. But that's just the way it is. Uh, we've done all we can do. We're just going to see how we go tonight. And hopefully uh, maybe bag one or two. I don't know. Bag one or two. I get me rather confident, but that's all you can do. You, you try everything, you do everything that you can um, without disturbing your position, and hopefully it, it's a success. But we'll see. Well, the sun's going down on us now. For our last night, it's been a great three days, despite our or my blank 
but um, yeah, terrific night. I'm really hoping that things may change in the evening. First light tomorrow, last chance. Let's see how we get on. Always remain the optimistic. We're here after specimen fish. It is hard, it's not easy. This is what it's all about.